So I, I want to get your opinion on what went down on uh, Tuesday night, I think it was. We have not had an opportunity to discuss it yet, but the CFP rankings. The big story for me was not Cincinnati at six. The big story for me is what is happening at the bottom of the polls. I, I think, and they do this every year, I believe that they are setting up they're setting up the top teams with the also rans down at the bottom. That's that's how they're doing this. We'll go through the top ten right quick. Georgia one, Alabama two, Michigan State three, Oregon four. That would be your your top four right now. Then five, Ohio State, six, Cincinnati, seven, Michigan, uh, number eight, Oklahoma, nine, Wake Forest, and number ten, Notre Dame. Hey, go on and give me some thoughts. I know you got things going through your head on this one. Well, yeah, so my first reaction was rage and anger and frustration. But then at some point in time, it's on me to feel these things because I know the people that run these things. I know the men and women that make these decisions. They're awful people. They are terrible people. They're bad at their job, and they have no souls. They have no morals, okay? They are whores, whores. They do anything for money. And, and I'll tell you, they do what whores do for money. They blow cops for money. That's what they do, Gary. That's what they do, all right? Yeah, yeah. So all these years, all these years, they overinflated the ACC, right? Every year when this thing came out, because Clemson's strength of schedule was so bad and they didn't have a good win on the schedule, they ranked all these shitty ACC teams that have like two or three losses, all right? Every year we saw it happen, just to rank them. Chris, we still got you. We, we've lost you. Hold on. <laughs> Chris is not wrong, by the way. Hopefully he'll come back in service here in just a second. But, yeah, it's it's if you look at what they have ranked here, Mississippi State at number 17. Oh, there we go. We lost him. We should be able to get him back here momentarily. But Mississippi State at number 17, I mean, what are we talking about here? Like, this is this is crazy. Chris, we got you. Up, oh, hang on, hang on. We got to swap him back over to to the audio board. All right, we got you now. Yeah, man, I'm sorry about that. I'm driving, <laughs> and and I, I heard you perfect the whole time. I, that's cut off. Yeah, I was getting nothing. I was getting nothing from you. Oh, but man. but what what we're talking about is the the rankings at the bottom, right? You talked about the ACC and them doing that for Clemson for years. Well, in order to rank Alabama in the number two spot, they had to give them uh, more than just one win against a top twenty five opponent. And they did that by boosting up Mississippi State to number 17. I don't believe anybody on the planet believes that Mississippi State is the 17th best team in college football this year. But they've got nope. Ole Miss at number 14, or sorry, number 16, and they got Mississippi State at number 17. And A&M is number 14. That is Alabama's loss. Uh, Cincinnati has no losses, and they have a win over top 10 Notre Dame. I uh, on the road, on the, on road. the road. Yes, like I, I big I deal understand. matter. Yes. Yes, it no, most certainly They're does. just liars. They're liars. The people that run this, they come out every year and they say, we really respect Cincinnati and we really appreciate what they No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't respect them. You're a piece of shit person and you manipulate stuff to get what you want. You manipulate stuff to benefit those who benefit you financially. That's all you do. Let's just come out and say it, all right? Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. This is... I mean, it's strange when you when you look at it. Cincinnati, uh, they did the same thing with Oregon. In order to justify having Oregon at number four over Cincinnati, they had to toss in Fresno State at number 23. You can't tell me that UTSA doesn't deserve to be ranked ahead of Fresno State right now. I, I love Fresno State. I think they're a fantastic football team. But having Fresno and San Diego State at 23 and 24 to help boost the Pac-12's rankings? Uh, they, just yeah, they need those bottom. They need the teams at the bottom in there that nobody pays attention to and nobody cares about so they can boost these teams that don't belong. Yes. I, I, it, it makes no sense to me. Like, I, I cannot figure out why on earth they, uh, they continue to do this. Ohio State at number five. They've got Minnesota at 20. You know, they've got Michigan at number seven. And, and while a lot of the stats would agree with that, I mean, who exactly has Michigan beat, right? Like, it, They've got Michigan one spot behind Cincinnati. If you want to talk about who Cincinnati I'm not, I'm has not going to quibble over an undefeated team that just lost one their first game on the road to one of their biggest rivals. That's also undefeated, by the way. Like I'm not like 
that 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 brings no ear to me whatsoever. Like now, I don't care. Oklahoma, I think they got Oklahoma right at number eight. Like Oklahoma yeah. is nine and zero, oh, but they have not looked I think good. That took, I do think that took some courage. I do think that took balls. And when I saw that, I thought, man, they always worked their way up. And yeah. and at, it was after that it was when the wheels fell off. Yeah, no, they uh, they have got it set up for Oklahoma to be able to climb here because they've got Oklahoma State at eleven and Baylor at twelve. That's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. You know, Oklahoma has a bye this week. They've got those two along with Iowa State coming in right behind that. I, you know, they've got a shot for Oklahoma to bounce way way up, but Cincinnati kind of in no man's land here. And well, no, they have no chance unless you have chaos above them yeah. because they they don't they're not gonna play another good. So here's the thing. You know what they also did by leaving those seasons? You know who else they lost, left out? They intentionally left out SMU, one loss, SMU, one loss, Houston. Why? Because those are two teams that Cincinnati's going to play, and they're going to make sure that those aren't ranked wins. Yes. Yes. Look at UTSA not being in. I was, uh, I was a little shocked by that. SMU and Houston not being in. I was definitely shocked by those two because those two have been good all season. You look at all just year. advanced metric numbers. Aside from the fact that they have won, I mean they're they're both seven and one at this point. I, I, I Gary, don't. they can't rank them. They can't because then they put together a resume that the whole world sees that justifies what they say isn't right. Yeah, no, no, no. you're you're one hundred percent right. Uh, which is exactly why they they do this the way that they do. Right, the AP poll looks vastly different than the first CFP ranking, and and while we do want that, we do want a difference of opinion. We are going to start seeing the AP poll shift back towards the college football playoff ranking. They say that they tear these up and they redo them every single week. I don't necessarily buy that, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.